Hi all of my viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss two important things. First one, timeline for NEET MDS 2021. And I am going through the information bulletin given in the National Board of Examinations official website. So the online submission of application form that's already started from 26th of October and uh, till November 15th, 2020. Okay. And there is edit window for all the candidates. You can edit your details from 17th to 19th November. And final edit window will be open from 29th November to 30th November. And admit card will be issued on 9th October sorry 9th December and uh, your exam will be on 16th December 2020 and result will be published after 15 days that is exam result will be available on the official website on 31st December 2020 okay so this is the important dates for NEET MDS the second thing what I have to discuss is what you have to do for final revision. Now you have only 34 days remaining. Today is November 12th and exam will be on December 16th. So most of you will be really tensed. Oh, I didn't study anything. I cannot proceed. I cannot do this time. So many tensions, okay? So don't worry about anything. You have to make it timetable for your final revision. I am going to tell you 10 days revision plan for NEET MDS exam. So we have to do revision of 21 subjects in 10 days. If exam is on December 16, we are supposed to start revision on December 4th or 5th. Okay. Then what you have to do is select your subject. Easy subject first and tougher subject last. Okay, and most of you uh, feel oral medicine and radiology, it seems easy, okay, but this subject is really confusing, okay, and uh, pharmacology, general medicine, general surgery, then anatomy, these are actually tougher subjects, uh, you have to revise it last, okay. So, it's always better to start revision with your easiest subject. And finishing 21 subjects in 10 days is a very difficult task. That means you have to complete a minimum 2 subjects in a day. Completing 2 subjects in a day is again a difficult task. And make sure that you should be able to sleep for minimum 6 hours. There is 24 hours and if you sleep for 6 hours, then 18 hours remaining, okay. So, in that you have to study at least for 15 hours. Minimum 15 hours you have to study during the last 10 days of preparation. That's very important. Keep your phone away from you. That's the first thing. And sign out from Facebook, okay. And uninstall whatsapp whatever or you can go through it during your tea break so go through each and every mcqs and their explanation if you don't get time for going through synopsis just leave and don't bother about whether you remember uh, those mcqs okay just leave it there and continue next subject okay in orthodontics you have to memorize many things so it's always better to keep ortho for uh, last days. In my first attempt, my knee rank was 262 and my score was 564 something, okay, out of 960. And in my second attempt, my knee rank was 285 and my score was 696. <coughs> that means in my second attempt, the question paper was easy compared to 2000. 17 I think so okay but last year again the question paper was easy okay compared to previous year so 
it's always better to go through all the previous year question paper plus all the subjects mcq and you should go through each and every mcqs of dental pulse okay and don't try to read many books if you read many books you will not be able to revise all those books so then you will be tensed that i couldn't complete all those books okay so choose your favorite subjects from dental pulse and start with that okay daily two subjects you should sleep in between okay if you are suppose there is 10 units for subjects in dental pulse and uh, there are 100 questions per unit then there will be more 1000 minimum 1000 questions for the subjects right so considering two subjects there will be minimum 2000 mcqs so you have to learn 2000 mcqs a day and you have to continue this for 10 days this is a very difficult task but what you have to do is you know go through all the mcqs okay that means when you see the same question in your exam paper you will be able to catch that and uh, i'm damn sure that you can choose the appropriate answer during your exam if you cannot study two subjects a day then it will be a big failure because if you cannot revise all the subjects then you will be really tensed and less confident in exam hall so it will affect your performance okay if you cannot go through mcq then what you can do is open your textbook suppose for pharmacology there is a standard textbook tripathi and a small book padmaja uday umar so open your padmaja uday umar and go through all the classification so that you will be able to know this drug belong to this group of okay so that will help and never ever go back to the same subjects again because you don't have that much time so continue reading and go to the next subject rather than skipping it if you skip any subject and suppose you skip anatomy and the questions most of the questions from anatomy is just imagine the questions from larynx okay if you don't read larynx you cannot answer any of them make sure that you have touch with each and every subjects okay dental pulse is a summary of all the subjects so it covers most of the portions given in the textbook so it will really help you okay those who have finished dental pulse for minimum 3 to 4 times it will be easy for them to cover all the subjects in a single stretch those who are studying the pulse for first time i don't think that it will help them okay but those who are really well prepared they should do a last final revision for 10 days that will definitely help them to crack a good rank that to below 300 okay so stop studying everything from december 5th onwards okay and open your dental pulse make a time table for 10 days okay two subjects a day that is 21 subjects for 10 days and choose your easy so subject first and tough subject for the last day okay and you should sleep minimum 5 hours day before exam managing time during exam also very important okay so 180 hours means 3 hours of exam and uh, 240 questions are there okay so if you know one ex- answer then mark it go to next question if the next question is really tough and you don't know should not wait for that question you should skip that and go to next okay because unattended question will be given on the laptop or uh, your uh, computer display you will be able to see those questions which are unattended and uh, the questions uh, which are marked correctly and uh, everything is given on the right side of your 
computer desktop okay so should not lose time for tough question you just skip it if you are not confident in that question you should not mark it okay for me i made almost 70 more than 70 negative answers okay so that was a mistake i made i was really confident in marking those okay so should not repeat that mistake that's my suggestion hope this will be useful for you guys if you have any doubts you can mail me at asha mary george 93 at the rate of gmail.com and all the very best for my dear friends